Hey, this is Eric from Images of Eden, and you're listening to the Brutally Delicious Podcast. Hey, how's it going, guys? Good. How are you? Good. Good to see you again. Good to see you. How's the, uh, uh-huh. where are you guys oh, at? One more. Well, here we go. <laughs> Let me get centered up here for you guys. Okay. <laughs> Got a couple of my partners here with me today. No worries so got, at all. So I've been my, bass, my bass player, Eric Mulvane, hey. right here. Yeah. Hey. Myself, Steve Dorsum, the drummer. Carlos, our uh, lead guitar player. Sweet. So I've been uh, I've been following you guys, sort of your travels online. I saw you guys here, uh, I guess, back in December with Ingve, right? Mm-hmm. Right. Where are you guys at? You're like in Colorado or somewhere today? We're in Denver, Colorado right yeah, now. See, for I was our right. Show tonight. Yeah. How's the tour going so far? Well, uh, so far, so good. I mean, you know, it, it has its startup issues with a little bit of organizational things, but we're, we're getting there, and it's, it's hopefully going to smooth out yeah, tonight. Hopefully. But nothing, nothing disastrous, but it's just the, the normal, normal everyday stuff that you deal with on tour, just trying to get everything kind of yeah. put in its place yeah. and on, on track and a good flow. Crowds so, have right. been good. Yeah, it's yeah. Been good. absolutely. Crowds have been really, really so good. So four out of five so far. So yeah, I saw that, four, right? Four yeah, exactly. That's four wild. out of five sold out shows so far. That's yeah. pretty wild. What's it like so, playing with yeah, Michael Shanker? Yeah, it's been really, really good. I'm sorry. Sorry, I kind of stepped over. Say again? I've been following you on that, but what's it like playing with Michael Shanker, a legend like that? Well, he's got a tight, he's got a tight camp, man. Those guys are good. Yeah. 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 It's, it's amazing really. I mean, to yeah. have an icon like that, you kind of grew up with and um, mm-hmm. kind of developed yourself on, and then you're out on tour with them. So right. um, the whole Michael Shanker camp uh, is just an awesome group of guys. Yeah, they They're all very nice and accommodating and, and like I said, we're just trying to smooth out some process things right now. But, you know, it's all good. Very good, guys. Happy to be here with them. And the audience is very demanding. They're expecting to see a great guitar player. So no pressure on me. <laughs> right. <very much>. So. <laughs> right. <laughs> yep. Exactly. Yeah, I know. Yeah, but it is inspiring. I'm sorry. The crowds have been pretty receptive. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They like what we're doing. And, um, well, we're very happy. We're very happy that the audience is, is uh, you know, responding to what we do, to our songs, to our music. So that is great. Yep. All right. So Weathered and Torn uh, came out uh, about two weeks ago, right on the sixteenth. Now yes. that it's uh, now that it's out, what's been the response to it so far, and how do you guys feel about it? Are you satisfied well, with it? I think all the guys probably will have a little input on that. Um, I'll just start, but. Um, it's been a real blessing. I mean, everybody was hoping we would get a little bit more to the heavier edge. We did do that on this, on this EP. Mm -hmm. Um, we kind of gave our personal organic reaction to Mm -hmm. the world that it's state it's been in the past two years. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody's been pretty beat up with, uh, with for many, many different reasons, whether it be loss of a loved one or depression or or living just in the times we're in with all the restrictions and and the whole world's kind of changing before our eyes right now we're angry you know everybody's angry you know but we're trying to put that anger out in a positive way and so we got a lot heavier on this ep mm-hmm. and um we wanted to make sure we got it recorded and got it out before we went on tour with michael Sheeker. so mm-hmm. we would be able to tour with that and market right. that as well but the response has been great everybody's very happy we went to the heavier edge and uh it's been well received so we start our radio this week um today. Uh, actually today. today we start our radio promotions today with all that stuff so we'll see how the charting goes yeah. what eric what would be your input on some of that yeah probably the same thing really i mean yeah this, this, this ep definitely went uh uh some of the songs are a bit heavier quite a bit heavier actually than the the, the previous albums so uh but there's still the element of uh, uh, progressiveness and harmony to it. I mean, there's there, you know we still got some incorporated uh, acoustic in it. There's still keys mm-hmm. and those things that were on the other albums. But the guitars and the writing and and the, the emotion of it be, is more raw, and it definitely did, did get heavier. So those they're familiar with the past uh, uh, albums. It, it definitely took notice right away. And it seems to be received awesomely so far. Mm-hmm. And then, the, and then those that didn't have any past experience with the the other albums, you know, it's brand new for them all the way around. So yeah, it's right. been really good. 
Yeah, and I enjoy playing the heavier stuff now because um, the audience reacts really, really great. And uh, since it's a more energetic show, uh, I have fun every nice. single night. Yeah. Every, every time we play, we, you know, the interaction yeah. with people, it's amazing. Yeah. And uh, some of the uh, some folks don't know our music. And when we are at the merch table, they approach us and then they want to talk to us. And they ask us questions about uh, our previous uh, releases. And, it, it, you know, it's been great. Great yeah. response. Yeah. So we're gaining a lot of new fans as mm -hmm. well as pleasing some existing ones. So that's mm -hmm. great to know that. Yeah, that's good. And I know you sort of mentioned that, you know, you said it was it's fun. You know, do, the record's fun, whatever. But I think that kind of heavier music you touched on it a minute ago maybe resonates really well with people now because it's a, it's cathartic. Like you said, we're going through so much crap. Well, and the heavier stuff tends to be more cathartic. I know at least it is for me. It's a release. I mean, it's a release for the listener. I mean, listening to a heartfelt couch song is maybe not going to give you that release that we need today right now. And, right. and and we have a lot of that. You know, we have good metal music that has a great soothing message in it. We still have that message in this heavier music as well. I like to think this deep great job of, of bringing bringing up that uh, you know that from the bottom up so to speak mm -hmm. um, the the emotions of, from bottom up it and i imagine that, it's uh, a release for you as well right it is well, yeah it absolutely. is it gives you that full on gives you a full on i'm just i'm mad i'm um i I, could, I couldn't be any more mad over the last couple couple years in particular and you know then there's spots in the album where you know we get to the top of the plateau where it's, it's okay it, it's okay to be mad down here there it, it does get better right so and that's the difference with us you know we're we're we're, we're pumping out the, the first two songs you hear on the ep we're playing those live every night right. and we get to pump that out of that aggression people like it people want to get banged around a little bit but they still want to be soothed with the good message at the yeah, end of course. and that's the thing with our music well when we write in our lyrical content we're going to present the problem to you in that song but we're also going to present a solution as well mm -hmm. and so it's it's not an open-ended thing where mm -hmm. your life is in shambles the end right. uh, no <laughs> our life is in shambles yes but yeah. here's some things we're going to do to make it right and make it better and be good people and going out with fight the good fight every night Just do you feel a sense of uh, a sense of or sort of responsibility to put that message out or absolutely be positive that's our whole mo of images yeah, yeah. of eden or else we wouldn't have a worth of even being here right now mm -hmm. so this is not about that we're you know we're, we're a little bit different of a group here we're we're not out high-fiving kicking the beer can around and and self-righteousness every night on stage our our motive is to go out and plant seeds of hope for people in metal music and be different and help and inspire change mm -hmm. and i know it's kind of cliche these past couple years inspire change but we're really we really mean it you know and right. it's an organic uh, sense to us all mm -hmm. and how we pull it out of ourselves and go do this i mean mm -hmm. this is not a very glorifying job out on the road trust me i right. mean it's tough it's hard and it's tough we pull it out of ourselves every night to go deliver that message there every night to give those people a release to give them some hope and a solution with that release Right. and um you know that's that's what we do that's images of eden for you mm -hmm. that's we want, it yeah we want people to enjoy the music but we want them to come find us afterwards and lay testimony on it we want on us we want them to talk to us we want us to tell we want them to tell us how they're how they're feeling how they react to what we're writing we want to try and help but we can help so and i'll tell you we we want you to leave our concert feeling changed Yes. in some way shape or form yes. and and we get that from people mm -hmm. people tell us even they contact us after mm -hmm. the show or come or to our merch table like carlos is saying that they're telling us you know you had the guts to step up and say this i needed that you just helped inspire me you helped change me you helped soothe me whatever it may be right. we do that in metal music it's pretty cool yeah yeah and i mean i know you're 100 right what you're saying because i saw you guys here open for ingbe and you know i saw gordon and you guys being approached by person after person after person and the what, what interaction you guys have was great what show did you see what the show Nas the national here in richmond virginia oh, yeah 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 yeah, yeah. okay oh, okay. okay that's a great place yeah Love yeah place. but yeah i mean i saw that interaction firsthand i know you guys are pretty much hands-on i guess if you will if that's right on yeah that's a good word for it yeah yeah a lot of a lot, a lot of bands they'll play and they kind of disappear you know and it's like you know we, we want to avoid that yeah yeah we don't we don't want to play and just disappear and 
having you talking about us and you know as if it's a past tense thing i want you to interact with yeah at long after the show mm-hmm. it, you know hit us up on social media anytime yeah. so so i know um you know you guys have a message and like you said it's you know it's a positive message but is there something you want your fans to take away from specifically after listening to weathered and torn yeah don't let the world beat you down exactly. hey, that's pretty much it right there i mean we're telling them you know, it's mm-hmm. You can't let somebody control your life and, and, and wrap you in a ball and have a tunnel vision your whole life. Yeah, you got to think for yourself. You got to know when things are mm-hmm. right yeah. and, and not some let somebody think for you. And and you know what we're talking about. I mean, the governmental controls, just po- politics. Um, you know, I don't even want to get into it, but the man-made disease they put out on everybody and uh, and then try to solve a problem you know, that they created. It's just, it's terrible. You know, we all lost a lot of friends, family, people. Right. We all got shut down. Our jobs got affected. Our touring got affected. Mm-hmm. Our musical careers got affected. Everything was affected. We were upset and frankly, we were pissed off. And, you know, but, but we're still images of Eden. We don't want to cross that line and go over the edge and fall off. We're pissed off. We're going to show you some aggression now. But like I said before, it's never open ended. You know, we're going to give you some kind of hope and a solution by the time that song mm-hmm. is over mm-hmm. to keep you in a positive form. Yeah, we're getting beat up. But you know what? There is a little pinhole of hope that we can hold on to to keep driving forward. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's all. That's what it's about. We just can't give up on life right now. And, and for a lot of people, they're, that's what they feel like. They don't have anything you hold on to where people got to know that every day they get up and their feet hit the floor again is because there's a reason there's a purpose for that yeah your feet hit the floor because somebody's not done with you yet and you got a mission to accomplish or you got someone to touch in some kind of way yeah so and i I know all of us right here as mature individuals musicians or whatever we know it takes one word or one gesture to change somebody's whole world absolutely yeah Yeah. and it has nothing even to do with music I mean, uh, put that aside. It takes one word or one gesture to help somebody or change their whole world. You know, they might smile, but there could be a lot of pain going on behind the scenes. Right. Because, you know, I mean, it doesn't really matter if you think you are really strong or maybe you are really strong. It doesn't matter. Everybody needs a friend. Everybody needs somebody they can trust. Everybody needs to know that there is someone they, that can listen to them when they have problems. So yeah, and, and, and try to help each other out. That's what we're trying to, to accomplish uh, with our message. I saw a meme. It's funny you talked about that, but I saw a meme just recently where, I don't know, whatever the picture was, but it said something like, say something nice to somebody today it might be the only nice thing they hear or, or something yeah. along those lines and i mean i guess that's yeah, yeah, yeah definitely yeah. that's pretty much our album cover yeah. <laughs> a meme you have a meme yeah it could be our album cover. Be, the, <laughs> the album cover is a meme yeah <laughs> well, it might be that one thing that's them through the day and more importantly on to tomorrow and every day that they can continue yeah. that pattern, they can reach and grab for that hope yep. that something's going to change or give themselves the opportunity to change. And you want to know how we know all this? Yeah. Because we were that person. Yeah. And we might still be that person. Yeah. We we need it too. Yeah. We, we, we're, we're our best customers. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We, all, so, we all struggle with something. We all have our own uh, yeah. individual problems. We have our family problems. We have I mean, that's that's problems. just being human, right? That's life. That's life. Mm-hmm. And we're just trying to put some substance behind it, you I mean, know. I, I, I got I got two boys on, on Friday when we're in Chicago getting ready to undergo uh, a kidney transplant. Yeah, I got a, I got I got one son giving another son a kidney. Oh wow, that's deep. Yeah. In Chicago, I'm out here on tour, you know. So I mean, it's not about us; it's about you. It's about everybody else. Yeah. So yeah. so the sacrifices all the guys are making to be mm-hmm. here to mm-hmm. to plant that seed or put the message out in metal music. We're, we're we all making big sacrifices to be here i mean yes. just throwing that out there to you so you can understand how how much you know this means to us and what we're doing and uh, how real it is you mean you guys don't make millions doing this and travel uh, in uh, airplanes yeah, maybe <laughs> not even a million <laughs> yeah. that's more like it right there yeah <laughs> but you know it's not it, like i said it's not about us being rock stars oh, or big bank yeah i would love to do that someday and we're working towards that but you know our message is wholesome. Um, our thought process is, is real, and that's what is important to us. And I, you know, we all feel if we just handle our business, everything else will take care of itself yeah. around us. 
So I think the days of those massive rock stars and that you know that luxurious lifestyle or whatever those are long gone. I mean, most oh, oh, oh. most yeah, of yeah. the rock and metal bands are in the that are in the trenches are you know people that are doing this for almost no money at all or spending money to stay out on the road or doing that's exactly that. right that's just today's world we live in you know the internet and i love the internet but you know it, it it killed a lot of record sales when it switched over that way but you know and that's the difference really in it all but but the music is still there however you get it whether it's digital or you buy a cd or or whatnot i mean the 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 music is still there to offer who would know, have thought that lars it. ulrich had a crystal ball way back then when uh, he was fighting yeah. napster yeah everybody well, thought it was sort of kooky and then it turns out he was like the uh the beacon yeah. carrier right yeah yes so yeah just you know he they saved their fortune out of it you know but you know a lot of upcoming bands that are working hard to keep climbing the ladder i mean we're we're not gonna feel you that when you're down the trenches doing it you know night in night out you're just not gonna feel it now mm -hmm. and you, you start to realize pretty quickly that your your agenda and the industry's agenda are two different things entirely. So yeah. you're, you're really having to claw and scratch your way just to get out there to play. Because mm -hmm. if you know the industry doesn't put you, prop you up here right out of the gate right away, I mean, you're, you're having to fight for it. Mm -hmm. so. Right. You could be the best band in the world if you're not. And you could still be sitting on the couch. So yeah. you got yeah. to go. You got to go after your opportunities. You got to tackle them. And when you tackle them, we put a plan together and we execute. And you got to be in it for the love of it and your Absolutely. exactly i don't know what the word i'm looking for is because otherwise it's there's no point in doing it right i mean just, exactly right. you can just exactly go right. make money door dash and probably make yeah, more money yes this is something we just picked up you know when we were in our 20s or 30s and thought yeah i mean no, I, I get it i mean you know, we all had the same dream when we're eight ten twelve yeah uh -huh. so yeah we've been doing this a long time all of us uh, we're a little mature now we've learned a lot of lessons you can look as uh, as we're paying it all forward now. Right, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's why our message is probably a little bit different than most. Is because right. We've already lived through a lot of it, survived a lot of mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. Do you find it really yeah. difficult doing it as you're aging? Because I'm going to throw myself in the same boat. I'm not calling yeah, it. Sure. Yeah, sure. But we're sure. all of a certain age, right? Sure. Yeah, absolutely. It's but tough. Like, but like I said before, every day, you know, your feet hit the floor again. Yep. Uh, <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah. Well, you can be at home on the couch or you can be on the road. Uh -huh. and that's, uh, you know. Pick, pick your poison, you know, but <laughs> look, yeah, we're, we're all getting a little bit older, but you know, none of us are dead yet. And uh, right. sure, you might hurt a little bit and it's a little bit harder to move around and get up and <laughs> yeah, do all this sure. stuff. But, you know, we have a job to do and it's a, and it's a serious job. We take it seriously. You got a job to do and we're going to do this until we drop. And I think that's a really fortunate thing about metal or hard rock or whatever you want to call it, because we don't time out because you've had like, you know, the pillars of the, of the genre like lemmy or all those people there they put right. in their time and they were quite old ozzy sure. you know those guys the the pioneers of this stuff are still going age really isn't a thing i think in pop music it might be you sort of time out when you're not perspective this is michael's 50th anniversary right exactly right. we're out with these guys right now they're all older than we are you know? yeah oh that's right i forgot you're on right with michael right so if you start whining about not feeling good or being old i just watch them all right let's get it together let's go they're, these guys are doing it <laughs> I, I interviewed him a couple years back he's a character man he's so great yeah uh-huh super nice guys they are yes super nice we haven't guys. Got to sit down and talk to michael yet things have been really busy and kind of hectic mm -hmm. to start but you know we will get to that you know, he's a really sure. really nice guy and you're right. Yeah, he's yeah, he's one think. of those pioneers that hasn't timed out. I mean, yeah. I don't think you find that in the rock and metal world. So. Yeah, yeah, for sure. What do you guys have planned next after this run? Um, well, we're going to go home for the holidays and continue to push the weather to torn. We're going to try to get some bookings in Europe next. That's mm -hmm. our next goal. We have you been to Europe yet? I have not. Nice. Have we have we played Europe yet? No, oh, yeah, no, no. We no, have no. not. No, and no. uh we actually had some stuff lined up uh before uh, the pandemic and yeah and then that kind of went out yeah, of the window so, yeah um so our next goal is to hit europe um mexico too. and mexico to get out of you we we toured the u.s four times already right and it's it's time you know it's time 
Um, that is our major goal. I'm not touring the U.S. We're not touring the U.S. rather until we get out of the country and start playing some more. Yeah, we got to get we got to we got to get around and, and and spread just further than our own borders. Yeah, right. and so that's that's our goal. Um, so we're gonna be done like in November on the tour, yeah. and then uh, we're just gonna finish out the year pushing it and try to get some bookings this spring yeah. uh, for out of the country. So yeah. that's the goal. Set up the next Maybe. tour just somewhere else, hopefully. Yeah, more Do singles, or is that the that the one? I'm sorry. Are you going to do more singles and more videos or just that one? Uh, oh, well, yeah, uh, for sure. We're going to start recording a full length record right after the first of the year. We already got some demos for it and everything. And that was actually our plan before we did this EP. We we're going to put out a whole nother full record, but we took a time out, had a meeting with the record label, a little bit of a marketing approach plan of how we were going to do this. We wanted to get heavier. So, so the consensus was let's get heavier. Let's please the fans. Let's unlock that lock for Europe for us. Mm -hmm. Go over there and then let it all roll. You know, yes. so that's that was the overall plan. We're right in the middle of that plan right now. As soon as we finish the tour, we're gonna try to button that up and and you know finish that goal. And then, like Carlos says, we're gonna start writing some new stuff the yep. first of the year as well. Gotcha. All right. Well, that runs me to the end of my questions. Did I miss anything you wanted to cover? Um, I just want to talk about the music video a little bit and invite Please. people to come and see that because it's a pretty, pretty cool video that we did. Um, so we Is this for Count to Zero? For Count to Zero. And that's our video single for the E. And um, it's about, it's all generalized around time. Time is running out on us. Um, whether you're on the floor hurting from depression, addiction, whatever it may be, this is kind of a wake up call song. Time is running out on you. Get up, be somebody today, get yourself together and shoot for the stars. And then when you get there, reach down and help your brother up and, and pay it forward to him. Time's running out on all of us. We all live by the clock every day. We're late for work. We're late for this, for that. We're always on a time scheduled thing. Well, life is a big clock and it's running down on all of us. And it's just kind of like a, a bold reminder no matter where you're at, on the floor, above the floor, wherever you're at, and you've got problems, we're trying to give that extra hope of off to get you up off the ground and stand up and be your, be somebody. And then go be somebody's hero after that. Right. So, But it's a really cool video that we all did. Um, we kind of got technical with it with some CGI and VFX um, with the clocks and everything. So right. it's a really, really cool video. I invite everybody to go check it out on YouTube. Evo, uh, for Images of Eden Count to Zero. I'm sure this video will rock your world. Okay, cool. Cool. Well, good luck with the rest of the tour. Stay safe. And uh, I know you're not coming this way on this run, but hopefully I'll catch you around sometime again. Yeah, I, we're coming somewhere close to Where are we going, Eric, in Virginia? Leesburg. Leesburg. We're playing in Leesburg. Is that anywhere near you? I don't even know where that is. So I'm going to say no, but I'll have to look it up. We're going to PA again. So. Yeah. Well, look it up. If you can get in, let, let us know, and we'll make sure we get taken care of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, perfect. I'll, I'll see what you said. Leesburg? Leesburg is Leesburg. Okay. It's outside of D.C. or something like that. Uh, I'll have to check know. it out. I'm, I've never heard of it, so I don't know. All right. All right. Well, thank you very much hey, for having us. Hey, yeah, be well. Tell Gordon I said hello. I will. All right, we'll you. see you later. Bye, guys. Bye -bye.